Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Austin, and today it's time for a brand new video. It's gonna be a review and full edit from the Movavi Video Editor 14 Plus software program. Uh, I, this video is brought to you by Movavi, it's sponsored by them. They wanted to show off their brand new video editing program, and it is quite cool. Genuinely, I think it has some really, really good potential. It's a really, really good program for editing if you're brand new to YouTube or just content creation in general. Sony Vegas and Adobe Premiere are two really, really good programs as well, but they tend to be significantly more expensive, and they're much more hard to just jump into for your first time. So definitely Movavi is a great choice if you're just getting into YouTube right now and don't have too much experience in the past. It's very, very easy to use and I'd really, really recommend it. So check out that links down below and you can go check them out. So if you want to actually go buy it, you can download it for free for, for, for a two week free trial. And then you can buy it for, I believe it's 60 bucks Canadian or about like 45 bucks US is like the approximate conversion. So anyway, you guys check that out down below, compatible with Mac and PC. So let's move on. Let's start our very first project with Movavi. So we got two options, create a montage in easy mode or go full feature mode. With the montage I find is quite easy if you wanna do like photo slideshows. I'm gonna be doing a full video edit of just like my normal content. So I'm gonna be doing full feature mode. So let's get that started. And now we're pretty much good to go. We actually just jump right into it. So in the top left corner of your screen, you have like our import tab. This is where we can import our files. And there are filters we can add to our content. Uh, transitions between different uh, clips or tracks, sorry. <clears throat> we have our titles. We actually have some really, really nice animations here. I'll show you later. And we have stickers. If you want to add some nice little effects. I have callouts, which I think are really, really cool. It's where you can actually just add some little animated like um, drawings onto your actual clips. It's really helpful if you want to do tutorials and such. Uh, you have some other tools here. And then you also have uh, stabilization, chroma key, and some other more advanced features. So first things first, let's just drop in our content. So let's go to our folder here. Now this is just some con this is old content for my tutorial on how to use OBS. I, I thought I just wanted to use this content. So here's the screen cap that I took with OBS. Let's drag this into our timeline. There we go, it loads perfectly. Then we have my camera. So I have two separate clips. I have my camera as well as my screen capture, like my actual computer screen. Now in all my videos, I have my face in the top right corner of the screen or bottom right, depending on what's going on in the frame. And then I have the background of what's going on in the video. It's so like my actual computer background. So I have a picture in picture, I have my face in a larger picture with my desktop background. So you can actually do that with Movavi, which you can't really do with a lot of other video editing programs, which is quite sick. So uh, as you can see, I've just dragged in my screen capture footage. Let's drag in my camera footage. Uh, and you see there's two tracks here before I do this. You're gonna see that there's uh, my actual base track here. Then you're gonna see there's a second track up here. This is gonna be your overlay. So anything that's above your base track is an overlay track. So I'm actually gonna drop in my uh, camera footage on the overlay track right above. So let that load in. And then boom, so by default, whenever you add an overlay track, it puts it in the bottom right corner of the screen. So you can see my face here as I'm trying to turn on my camera. That's a really, really bad push, uh, picture of me, but that's fine. Uh, let's actually just get started. So we, first off, we have to actually synchronize our audio. That's what I like to do to get started with our clip because uh, when I do multiple takes and such, like I have two different audio sources. So I have my camera audio and my desktop audio. My desktop audio uses my fancy ass Blue Yeti. So I want to actually use that microphone, not my camera microphone. But I, of course, I want to use the video for my camera. So I have to mesh the two together. I need to take the audio from my desktop and then the video from my desktop and camera. So first off, let's actually zoom in here at the very beginning of the clip. Uh, the scale, uh, the bottom left corner of the screen, you have the scale uh, bar. You can increase that to zoom in a bit more. And now you can see the audio waveforms, which is really, really nice to see. You can uh, simply drag and drop this a bit here. There we go, you drag the entire clip, and then you can try and match it up properly with the clip down below, so I can synchronize my audio. Give me a second here. And I think that's actually, that's good enough for me, that's actually quite close. So if I were to play it, you guys can even hear me talk, that's a really terrible screenshot right there. I think that was quite close there. That was pretty good, yeah, so that, that's pr almost perfectly in line, so we'll take that. All right, so now that we know where the audio actually lines up, now we have to delete the clips that we don't need. So now that we're trimming it, let's trim the first half off here, which is just a bunch of just empty space of nothingness. Let's delete that, so just click on the clip, hit Control b and then click on the first half that you want to delete, hit the delete key, simple as that. Uh, same thing you want to do here, you want to click everything that's that's before, you want to hit Control b select the stuff before, and hit delete. And now we're good. So now our audio is all synced up and we're pretty much good to go. Uh, next thing, let's actually trim off the end of the clip as well because I have a lot of just dead space at the end I don't need. 
Um, so let's trim it. I think, what's this? Cool. Trim right after I say the word thanks. Perfect. So that's selected there. Hit control B. There you go. Sorry. Make sure the entire clip is selected. Hit control B and then hit the other second half. Hit delete because we don't need it anymore. And we'll do the same thing here on the bass track. And zoom in. Hit control B. Delete. Boom. And now we are good to go. Next up here is I need to add my introduction. So as you guys know, I have a little intro clip that I want to add in. So let's go to our GFX, frequently used GFX. I have my HPG official intro. Let's add that in before in front of my bass clip. Boom. Let's zoom in a bit here. Now it's going to be super loud because I haven't adjusted the volumes yet, but let me just check this out. That's loud. Okay. So it's working. <laughs> that's good. Uh, but we have, to, we have to adjust the audio. As you can tell, that's way too loud. We can't have that happen in our video. So go into the audio uh, waveform below the track. Right click. Go to... Um, actually, just double click it. And then go in the top left corner, you have this huge tools screen. Uh, go to the audio tab, make sure that the volume is set to like, let's decrease that a lot. Let's go down to like 12%. So let's try that again. I actually made it down a lot because that's super loud. Okay, cool. So that's set. So now our intro is good, our audio is good on there. Now you actually get rid of the other bad audio. So as I remember, I told you earlier that I have two audio tracks. I have my camera audio track and my desktop audio track. I need to get rid of my camera audio. So now let's do the same thing. Let's, let's click on our audio track for our camera on the overlay. Double click it. We're going to look at this tool screen at the top left corner. Actually, just hit the mute key when you under the audio tab. So there's no audio at all from my camera. Now if we hit play again, you're going to hear that... There's a lot less echo, it's a, bit, it's a lot better quality because I'm using my Blue Yeti versus my built-in microphone on my camera, so it's a lot, lot better. Uh, next thing we need to do is I need to add some text because it'll look cool. I want to show that off because it's a really, really nice feature. So I'll throw this into the uh, ti or title tab at the top here, and then you can actually type in whatever you want. So I'm going to double click this quick. Let's type in, this is an OBS tutorial that I, this video clip where these video clips are actually from so let's actually just call it an OBS tutorial for just for the sake of consistency uh, let's drive this around so it's centered ish uh, ooh, that looks good perfect and now on the uh, on the subtitle let's do something as well let's call you know subscribe for more something kind of generic perfect boom so now what we can do is if you actually look and um, Let's drag our ticker just before. If we hit the play button, you can actually see the full animation, which looks quite sick. Hold on. What's going on guys? Awesome. So as you can see, it animates as it opens up. Looks really, really sick. Would definitely recommend trying that out. Having those animations will take a lot of time in other programs. That's why I kind of like Bobavia, which is kind of built in. It's quite nice. Uh, next thing here, we want to actually zoom out a bit and we want to add my outro clip, which is just an overlay. It's, it's just a simple outro with just um, an image. So what we're going to actually add this just on top of... Actually, let's zoom out a bit first. Click at the very back of the clip, and then now let's add it in. So let's simply drag it right here. Boom. Now by default, it's going to be in the bottom right corner of the screen again. Uh, but it's actually covered, so give me a second. Let's change this up quick. A couple things I need to do still, uh, a couple more steps. So let's zoom in here. Let's drag it to the very end of the clip because that's where I want my outro to be, naturally. Put, put it right there, perfect. And now you're going to see that that's, uh, won't actually be visible right now if you actually want, look at loading. So see, by default, whenever you drag in an overlay, it goes in the bottom right corner. Now, as you can see here, there's two tracks in our overlay. There is my camera, like my face cam, as well as my outro, my, my image. And since they're both in the exact same spot on the screen, my face is currently on top of my overlay, which is a problem because I want my picture overlay to be on top of my face versus the other way around. So first of all, let's just drag the, uh, let's actually drag my, my face clip and put that below my outro or image, sorry. Uh, let's scroll back over. Boom, as, as you can see here, that if I drag this and zoom back in, you'll see that now if I actually hover over, give a 
second to load. There we go, boom. So here's my outro that's literally over top of my face. Remember, there's layers. Whatever's above the previous overlay will be above it. Just like, it kind of makes sense. Like having two pieces of paper stacked on top of each other. You need to make sure that whatever's on top is actually on the top and that's what you want to see. So secondly, I don't want to have this in the bottom right corner. I need to have this in the actual of the entire screen. So I just double clicked it. And in the top left, top right corner, there's a little top left corner that says picture in picture. You can go cover, which means it'll cover the entire screen, which is what I want. So give it a second to load and render. And now you're going to see my HPG logo at the very top middle and then my um, social media stuff there. Perfect. Next thing is I actually want to move my face as well. So I like my face in the bottom right corner. As you can tell, usually in my videos, my face is in the top right or the bottom right, depending on what's going on on the screen. So let's actually move my face down a bit. So let's actually adjust the size because that's too big. Drag that to the top right corner. Give it a sec to load. And then put it right there. That looks good. Hit apply. So now if you re-render it quick and you see my face is in the top right corner of the screen now for the rest of the video, which is quite cool. Because it's a lot, it's quite difficult to do in other programs. You can just easily do it with drag and drop, which is kind of nice. Uh, next up here is I wanted to show off some of the effects quick. So let's just go to the very beginning. I want to show how you can use some nice little filters. So on the very first um, intro, let's add, let's add a, not transitions, add a filter. Let's add the camera shake to my introduction. So I can simply just drag and drop onto the clip. So now if I go to the very beginning, you can watch my intro again. There's a bit of like a screen wobble there. You can see it zooming in and zooming out. Perfect, so that looks nice. Uh, I think I want to do is I want to add some fades, which is quite important to me because I'll just add cross fades just make the video look very clean. So let's add a cross fade between my intro and my first video clip right there. And now if, if we watch that entire thing again, let's go back, hit play. Give it a sec to render that out, good. That looks good, that looks good. Nothing too fancy. And it fades in perfectly, so it looks nice. So it fades out, it just it just looks really, really clean, so I always like to do that. And now I think we're pretty much good to go. We have my title, we have my transition, we have that filter on. This is something that I wanted, this is a good video. So let's go, let's save it to my desktop as just demo for now. What just happened? Oh, I lost it, there we go. Save project as... Oh, I'd already saved to my desktop as new, as new. Okay, that's fine. I'd already saved as new project. All good, all good. Um, so let's actually just jump right into it. So let's actually go for, to finally export the video. So you can go to, on the top left corner, go to export, export video, or you can go upload it straight to YouTube. I like to render it as an MP4, so I have a file on my computer just in case I ever lose it off YouTube or something like that. So I'm gonna go export video. And uh, the file name, I'll call it OBS Demo. Uh, I'm, now you have different file sizes. You can go good. High or highest. Highest is really, really high quality and you're gonna get a huge file size. I actually just recommend going good or high for most of these. I'm gonna go H.264. I'm gonna go high. Check out the advanced tab. As you can see here, we're full 1920 by 1080p. I wanna record in 60 frames because my camera and screen recorder capture in 60 frames. Now all I have to do is I can just hit OK and I can start my render. And we're good to go. It'll probably be good, maybe about like an hour-ish. That's what it usually takes to render. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely, definitely drop a like or a down below. It means the world to me. If you want to subscribe for more, definitely do that. I, I let me know in the comments if you, want me to see, if you want to see me review any other video editing programs. This has been Mavavi. If you want to see any of the requests, definitely hit me up down below. I'll try my best to reply to all the comments and questions. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks.